My my view is that Pred had his power arc, right? All the way to the top. Stayed at the top for a significant amount of time and obviously got extremely comfortable with being in charge and, and having power to do essentially whatever he wants and got the uh, benefit of that. You come over to Ignite, similar situation. You know, you're essentially given power and because you're coming off the back of that same situation and the stakes are significantly lower because Ignite is a new server. You don't really know where things are going to go. You have to be entertaining to a max because you've ju just come off of no pixel. So you lean hard into the other into the thing that I think a lot of people find entertaining about Kyle, which is the volume and the abrasiveness and the humor. So you come into a completely new environment where the endemics are not used to that. You are, they are not used to that as people because a lot of people in RP servers, we talked about this months and months ago with the, with like the, the, the notion that people wanted, uh, you know, pence off the server and stuff like that. Um, you know, you're coming into people's second life self insert domain. And when you start shitting all over the place, um, you will, you will run counter to, you know, you will piss the, the locals will, will turn on you. They will turn on you. Um, so the, uh, the situation that we find ourselves in now is that I think a large portion of the people that are here think that maybe he, he might not be needed. So um, they might not know that they are needed. I think they are needed personally. Like my person, my my um, my thing is that I think that they are needed, but there is and has been maybe not enough, and at least in in Riggs' sense because he's the person I deal with the most. Um, there has been not a lot of intent shown to improve. I think that I think that Penta has shown that he can modulate a lot better which is you know um but maybe the design like again i'm not here to, to undermine or or to to commentate on the intent of the streamer because you know the one thing that a lot of people love to do in this industry is tell other people what they should be doing to be successful in their own business only we know what we can do to be successful because we are the ones that figure it out day after day after day after day the thing that, the, I'll tell you personally, I am not satisfied with Greco, and I'm having a great time. He might, at least in at least in the rig sense, he might be stuck in an RP character rut. Maybe. Yeah, he's typecast. Yeah, he's typecast would be the better way to do it. It's, it's kind of like when you see, uh, when you see Vince Vaughn in literally anything, or Owen Wilson, or shit, man, if you look at a lot of actors, it's pretty obvious that most of them are just themselves that happen to fit into a certain type of role. I don't know how much pressure to entertain four and a half thousand people. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, it's a nuanced thing. George Clooney is another one. Yeah, a lot of these guys are just, you know, they are themselves and they and their personalities are the are such that they're entertaining. So, um, you got to be good on improv. You have to be very entertaining. All these things are factors on an out of character standpoint, which I take into account because I fucking understand that. Like, you know, it's, it's very hard for me to be wild and wacky as the attorney general, because I'm really hemmed in on what I can and cannot do. So everything that I do and everything that I try to achieve is like political or, you know, It's it's just it's brain games. It's all brain games for me. It, I get I don't get to do the mechanic stuff. I think that where self insert becomes bad is when the self insert is boring. If you are a boring person and you live a, you know, listen, I, I might I might describe some of you guys right now. Okay, I might describe some of you right now, and I'm sorry that this is gonna happen. Okay, I truly am. Not everybody is meant to be entertaining. Not everybody is funny. Not everybody is good at improv. But a lot of people have access to Grand Theft Auto V. 
So you can you can do it. I could probably just jump onto the ice with like, or maybe jump onto a court with some college level basketball players and get absolutely shit on because it's obvious I don't belong there. So you could, I can, I, there's somewhere I would belong on a fucking outdoor court by myself somewhere until I figured out what I was doing. You know what I mean? So it's like you have to you have to take yourself and you need to blow it up. You got to blow it up. And that's almost impossible because a lot of people that seek RP are those that have like a they're missing something or they have social anxiety or they have something else. And get, like I can tell you that as a person that began RP 3 or 4 years ago, my personality is way different. Way, way, way different. So um, you will actually improve aspects of your personality if you do it for long enough. But if you go in thinking that you can immediately be good, hang, and like, you know, just not have anything affect you and let it roll off your back, you're fucking wrong, dude. My main concern is that I don't want to lose Kyle because I like RPing with him. But I don't think Riggs as a character can do anything but change. Ace is much more of a loser than Wrangler ever was. Man. Man. Say what you want about being a fucker and all that other stuff, but... I think, like, Penta is probably... <sighs> for, like, flexibility, wit, speed, all that stuff, I think he's probably one of the best role players I've ever encountered. Like, just as far as the ability to be many things, but also the ability to kind of keep... He keeps a, dis he keeps a certain level of distance that I'm almost jealous of. You know, like, I, I do think that there are some common threads with his characters. Typically the... Uh, um, what, what I would call it the only child syndrome in a sense, or maybe even the middle child syndrome where they can do no wrong. Since we've been kind of talking about both of the individuals as in and out of characters, you know, Ace keeps things interesting, but play he, like he will walk right up to the line and, and never quite cross it or crosses it in a way that maybe is, you know, just, eh, just a little too far, you know? Whereas, you know, in some other cases, maybe with uh, Riggs, is that you just know that he is on the line all the time, no matter what. You know, Ace will go up and down, like he'll start like normal, normal, normal crazy. Or, you know, like ramp up to a thing that is crazy based on what's happening around him. Whereas I think with Riggs, it's just like, it's too quiet in here. I'm going to break a fucking glass or a window or burn the place down just to kind of see what's going on.